Hi, I'm Nicole Harper from Creating Keepsakes Magazine, and today I want to share three ideas to help you scrapbook out of order. People ask all the time uh, for ways that they can not be stressed about being caught up with their scrapbooking. It's not something that I've ever found a problem. I just scrapbook whatever I feel like at that moment, but I know that a lot of people worry about it. So today we're going to tackle some of those ideas. In this first layout, uh, this one shows the past. Obviously, uh, the person in this photo was not able to scrapbook about herself back then. So one way to, to address this would be to just find a photo that you love from you know when you were a kid or even like maybe from when one of your parents was a child and ask them about their story. Ask them what they remember about this photo. That's a great way to get the feel of this photo down on your page. Sometimes you have everyday memories you might not think about scrapbooking until you find a product that fits perfectly. This playful line by Jenny Bolin worked well with the bounce and roll games theme. So sift through your stash and you might find a product that causes you to pull out some photos you've forgotten about. Another way to break out of scrapbooking chronologically is to focus on a tradition. Here we've used two different photos from two different birthdays. Doing this allows you to use multiple photos from different years and helps you focus on the story of your tradition rather than the actual chronological event. So hopefully some of these ideas we've shared about scrapping out of order will help lessen some of that stress you might have about keeping caught up with your photos.